Good morning. Uh, welcome back. I think we're ready to uh, start. Today, our uh, discussion will focus on our continued efforts to strengthen our deterrence and defense. At the Vilnius Summit in July, we took major steps to further strengthen our defenses, including with new and more ambitious uh, regional plans for the defense of Europe. Now we must fully implement our decisions. This includes investing more in defense. Eleven allies now reach or exceed the 2% target, and I expect uh, this number will rise substantially next year. In a more contested and competitive world, there is no doubt NATO is ready, willing and able to defend every ally. This concludes the public part of the meeting. I thank the media for joining us at the top of the meeting. Secretary Austin, dear Lloyd, uh, it's always a pleasure to uh, welcome you and to meet you here at the NATO headquarters. Uh, uh, at our Defence Ministerial meeting, uh, we are addressing uh, a wide range of issues, uh, how to support Ukraine, uh, our deterrence and defence, uh, NATO's missions and operations in Kosovo uh, and Iraq, and uh, uh, this morning we'll also be briefed uh, about the horrendous uh, terrorist attacks against uh, Israel over the weekend by the uh, uh, by Hamas, and we will brief, uh, and we will brief by the uh, Israeli uh, Defense uh, Minister uh, on all these issues: uh, uh, the Middle East, uh, Ukraine, <coughs> uh, Iraq, Kosovo, uh, uh, deterrence and defense. The United States uh, uh, and you personally, uh, uh, Secretary Austin, uh, provides uh, security leadership for uh, all the NATO allies, and that is something we really, really uh, appreciate. When it comes to Ukraine, uh, we welcome, of course, the leadership that you personally demonstrate, um, uh, demonstrates, but also, uh, but also the fact that, uh, that the European allies and Canada have really stepped up and are also providing substantial support to Ukraine. So once again, uh, welcome. It's always great to uh, meet you here, and, uh, and thank you for being such a strong supporter of our alliance. Well, Jens, thanks. It's great to be back in Brussels, and it's great to see you again. Um, I know you share our outrage at the terrorist attack uh, on Israel uh, by Hamas here recently, uh, and also our determination to support Israel's right to defend itself. Now, Jens, this is our first ministerial since uh, the summit in Vilnius. Uh, and during uh, this meeting, I think uh, we'll have a great opportunity uh, to work on uh, how we're going to implement uh, the decisions that were made by our leaders in Vilnius. Uh, so I look forward to some great discussions. We'll remain focused on strengthening uh, defense and deterrence for NATO. Uh, and uh, um, I would just say that NATO is as strong uh, and as united as I've ever seen it. And again, as I've told you a number of times, I've been around NATO for many, many years. Uh, it remains the essential forum for consultation, uh, decision, and action for transatlantic security. Uh, and so, you know, I look forward to continuing to work uh, with colleagues on how to implement those things that uh, were decided by our leaders uh, back in Vilnius. Uh, Jens, thanks for assembling uh, this, this great group of leaders, and thanks for what you do to continue to lead us in the right direction. We are absolutely uh, lucky to have you as, as, uh, as the leader of, uh, of this great body here. So, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank
Thank you. 